SB76 and AB105 allows uncontrolled pumping from any approved within the well, within the statements of conditions of the well. But it, they can pump that amount odd, odd forever with no review on any occasion to determine if there's been an impact to one of the nearby waters or lakes. In the Central Sands area, tourism has the same an economic benefit as agriculture of the Central Sands area. So you, you give water to agriculture, but now the trout fishermen and the canoe outfitters and the, all the lodging and motels along the rivers and like the chain of lakes in Wapaka, they stand to lose a great deal. Agriculture is very important in Wisconsin. The economic impact of agriculture in this state each year is over $88 billion. It makes us one of the largest economic drivers in the state, and I think we all want that to continue. Water is very important to agriculture. To myself and my colleagues, um, we have invested in our operations in livestock and crops over the years, and what this bill does that we support strongly is it provides the certainty for us to maintain, repair, replace, and at some point in time sell those assets to our children or other people to continue producing food for not only my family, the people of the state, but people across the world. We believe in common sense, science-based solutions to manage ground and surface water resources. Our state's water policy is rooted in the public trust doc doctrine, which presumes that all water users are created equal. The bill before you rejects this bedrock principle and establishes that some water users have more rights to our shared water resources than others. I don't know why, why people want to destroy some of the best things that we have in life, but it seems like that's the way we're headed, and we just need to slow down. Maybe look for a different answer than what we are right now, but we need to, we need to protect what we have because once we lose it, it's gone.